<clears throat> be uh, having a national sleepover day, fellow humans. Today's gonna be a bit of a weird one. So, let's first address this. I was planning on doing VR for today anyway, for one of the days. Then I thought I could do the whole thing in VR because I remembered that Mind Show was a thing. However, I looked and I couldn't find it. So, bright side, we're going to do a whole bunch of different things instead. Starting with Vacation Simulator because it's the first one I could think of that not only had a bed, but it could also have a face. Even though it doesn't have moving mouth, it at least has, you know, a face and some thing. It's, it's better than thing. Also, since we're being a bit silly for the vast majority of this episode, I need to get a, a couple serious ones out of the way now. Firstly, I guess this isn't really a serious one, but I, I'm not about to try and come up with a bit for it. National Lost Sock Memorial Day. I don't think I've actually lost any socks. I assume people do, but I haven't. So, mm -hmm. the other one, the other one I'm gonna have to break kayfabe for because I'm gonna have to read it. It's that one. Cornelia de Lang Syndrome Awareness Day. It's the second Saturday of May. I'm not gonna be doing that for all of them because, I mean, they're there. These are all the days I'm gonna be covering at some point today. Hey, spoilers. But yeah, it's a disease, so I'm getting it out of the way now. Because it's a serious one. So anyway, that that's the semi-serious and serious one out of the way. Let's go to some silly stuff now. Okay, I went off to start doing that and then realized there were actually at least one other day that I should probably cover here because I don't think I'm going to be able to cover, which is Birth Mother's Day, which, again, I'm not really checking anything. I'm just going purely off names today, but I assume, I assume that we're dealing with for people that are adopted, but I don't know. I do not know. I wish I'd know, because then I could be specific. But I don't want to be specific, I don't want to look. I don't have to look to be specific. That's far too much effort for me right now. I'm trying to do a chill episode. At least a somewhat chill episode. I don't know why I'm looking over there, because then you can't see the face. Which is the whole point of me doing it here. So today's Butterscotch Brownie Day, and though I don't think I can make brownies, we can make waffles. And we can waffle anything. Like, we can, we can put, like, some chocolate, and some butter, I don't know what else you'd need for, you know, maple syrup, because, or I guess, let's waffle the chocolate. Then we have a chocolate waffle. Then, I guess, maple syrup and butter is probably the closest you're going to get to butterscotch. So, it's butterscotch brownie. As close as we can get. It's also stamp out uh, hunger day. I've got apparently quest. This is apparently one of the things I've not finished. Nah, go figure. Today is also National Moscato Day, which is apparently a wine. I don't care much for wine. And I looked, and unlike in Job Simulator, where I know for a fact there is wine, I can't seem to find any wine here. So... We're gonna go with the next best thing. I mean, it's still grape. And if there was a way for me to, uh, to me to casually ferment it, I would. Like, it's like it's functionally the same thing, right? Like, I mean, who really cares? Thank you. Your account has been automatically. It's not like there's much of a difference. And now we're somewhere completely different. And there's quite a few days, more days we've got left to cover it on for here. Uh, including, although I think I've talked about it before, how I, I don't understand why people, like, I used to, I don't know if it was a cat mums or something else, but it's National Dog Mum Day. Uh, so Robo Dog, because this is the only dog that matters. None of the other dog, no, no actual dog matter. 
but Robodog is best boy. Like, he good boy. Like, I've established I'm not a big dog fan, but Robodog is best boy. Also, this game also does the small test. Yeah, I don't know why people, like... I assume, again, it's talking about dogs who are mothers. And not people who call themselves dog mothers. Because that's just a bit weird. I will admit this one might be a little bit of a stretch, but for National Babysitting Day, we're going to babysit this tiny little thing. I'm not good at this game, and I'm vastly out of practice. Because it's a bullet hell from second person. Because, like, saying ba I'm babysitting this isn't actually wholly inaccurate. As much as it's much a kind of an abuse of the calling of the existence of babysitting, you know, do it calling doing this for babysitting days maybe a bit of a stretch. Uh, that is basically what I'm doing. Like, I have to pay far too much attention to this. To not have it die. But as you can see, I don't actually have to look at it because it's in hand. The R is fantastic. Now this is about as far as I normally get. Especially because it's a one-hit KO thing. I'm not gonna do more rounds of this for the simple fact I've still got another day. I've still got at least two more days left. So uh, yeah, today is also National Archery Day. So archery. That I am vast also vastly out of practice. I've not played the lab in a while. <laughs> yeah, no, this is me out of practice. <laughs> Drop the shield if the shield's on fire. Also, it's funny. I might be a psychopath. <laughs> it's hard to tell how much you need to trail like. I know the smoke bones are on points. I don't know what. Ooh, that was an unpleasant burp. You gotta hear it too, that's fortunate for everyone involved. <laughs> Missing all the balloons. I guess that's sort of not really the point though, is it?
take the cheap shots. One didn't set on fire. The problem I have in this game is my arm gets tired far too quick. My arms get tired far too quickly. Yeah. Might as well keep going. I do have one more game after this. For one more day. But, eh, I'm probably not gonna play the whole set for that. <laughs> Fucking. Mixed results, <laughs> to say the least. That's getting annoying. I'm being really bad right now. Now, every time I start saying I'm doing all bad, I start doing all right again. It's like the game is actively just trying to prove me wrong. Regardless of consistency. I have, I, uh, you, uh, you've seen my ceiling if you've watched any of the other videos. Uh, <laughs> it's the only real downside that might be our set up, is it's ceiling. Arms getting tight. ceiling again. I'm gonna leave that there. For you at least, I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> but video-wise, 
I'm gonna leave that there, because again, I've still got one more game to play, which is... So our, uh, our last game. Our last day, should I say. It's National Mini Golf Game Day, and uh, I want to be playing this pretty much solely with my right hand, because my, uh, I kind of fucked up my left arm playing the, the thing. Ah, trick shot. Took the thing. Didn't really get me anywhere, but trick shots. So anyway, this is this is um Dream Golf VR. Which I've never played before. So I don't actually know if this is any good. Uh but it's free, and it's a mini golf game. And I'm definitely not playing it properly. Hey. Hey, that's not bad. Still getting used to the controls. All the control schemes are uh, for the Vive, which would have been fine about half a year ago. But I'm now on an index, so not too much use. So I actually try golf properly here, like as close as I can to hands, right? Cool. Yeah. Not that button. Don't know how I keep all. Oh, all right. The grip buttons also rotate me. That's. Well, that would be useful if I wasn't, you know, on a Vive, which has very sensitive grip buttons. Um, yeah, let's try and actually two-hand it for a change. Oh. Oh, so close, so close. Oh, oh. Okay, now I don't know how I'm going to do, how you do this. Actual real rule, at least the rule I always played with, is put as length distance that you can pull it out, right? But... Can't really exactly do that here. Oh, it reset me the whole thing, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's try that again then. Oh, so close! I don't know how many holes I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do the whole loop round. It's not bad for something that's quite simple. Like, it's not. It's not the best ad sets. So I wouldn't pay money for it. And the word the word DLC DLC uh, maps, which I assume are paid. Shit. There's a there's a thing there in the real world. I might I, like. I want to. I just want to get to something interesting that isn't just like a really standard sort of course. Can it in increase the uh, putter length? I don't know why that goes with it. <laughs> it's an interesting bug. Sorry, feature, feature. The features, right? They're, the, they're not bugs. Some of the games have actually felt the need to have that uh, spin round button. This one looks interesting. Just because, you know, you, you want to be side on, right? Like, left handed, right handed, whatever, but you want to be side on to some degree. A little shorter. Problem is, is now I don't know. I got a hole in one! Apparently, I got an achievement for getting a hole in one as well. Neither of which are things that I knew I could do. Ah, the classic cave level. I, I'm not being sarcastic. I've been to... I'm spinning around because I'm getting caught up in the wire. I'm still getting caught up. But I don't know where I am anymore. Like an actual space. I'm not being... But yeah. I have actually been to a, a few different... Uh... No? Uh... Mini golf courses that have just had a cave level. Including one that was indoors, which was weird. I hope that doesn't count as a stroke. Also, would like to stop hitting the rotate buttons unintentionally. Where has that gone and how is it inevitably against a wall? Oh no, it's still going. Wait, that one's elevated. How's that one gonna work? I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I'm probably a bit too close to the wall, so.
The explosion was certainly an interesting way of doing it. I was honestly expe expecting to have no momentum coming out of that. Where actually I had probably had too much momentum coming out of that. Get in. That's eight. Get Is it only a nine hole course? Hold on. Oh, because I saw a bridge up there. Okay. I'm gonna end on nine. It's half of a thing at least. Oh, that's a dead zone. I need to hit it with some whack. I need to also not turn around in the process. Come on. Well, it's over. That's not nothing. Oh. <laughs> not enough bounciness on this. And again, no real way of uh, getting it out. Okay, this is this will be a good last hole. Although there's a windmill. The windmill's the hole after this. I might go to the windmill because the windmill would be a nice place to end. Because the windmill's the classic, isn't it? But we'll do the ski ball one first. I did poorly on the ski ball. In fact, I think it shot out. Yeah, he went about as far away as possible. That 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 was a bad shot. I don't know if I'm specifically left or right-handed with this. Oh, no, grabbed too tight again. Oh come on, this is going to be real. I'm almost tempted to chip it out and just restart the thing. Cause <laughs> that was a real bad, real bad start. I'm right up against my wall. I can feel like I think I'm against my chair. I need, so I should recalibrate after this. That oh, was far too much welly. That was nearly not nearly enough welly. We're back over there now. Said so I don't know how any of this does to score, but I'm not really playing for score, so it doesn't really matter. I'm playing for fun of it and because it's the day for it. That's the thing. It's quite easy to chip in this actually. Should probably abuse that. Or the fact that I can swing through walls. Like, yeah. When I can clip through the floor, chipping the ball is easy. <laughs> Which is sometimes a benefit and sometimes a curse. So it's balanced. So balance works right. Alright, is the next one the windmill? Alright, we'll, we'll end on the windmill because it's the classic. And I'm not going to be able to look and, like... I'm going to fuck this up. I'm going to fuck this up. I said before when I was saying that thing. I fucked it up in not the way I thought I was going to fuck it up. Just reset it. There you go. <laughs> Well, at least that time I way fucked it up windmill wise. Go away. <laughs> it's easier resetting it that way. Hey, there we go. Put the ball in the hole. I'm going to start outroing while I do this. Uh, and I guess I'll probably move on to the next hole as well. But this was Day of the Day. It was a weird episode of Day of the Day. Which ended in me playing mini golf. And actually, it's not a bad VR mini golf. It's not a bad mini golf, even. Ah, I'm gonna go for the thing. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, that, if it wasn't for the foul, that would have been a hold in one. But yes, if you liked this, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like it, don't worry, I have other stuff. Look around on the channel, most of the videos aren't like this. This is a weird one. Oh, fuck. Or oh, Willy? That was just awful.
I'm not even trying anymore. I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm trying to do two things, too many things at once. What do you want from me, game? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, share these videos. Even if you didn't like them. Because if you didn't like them, I'm sure you know someone who will. Get out of there. Interact with the video, like, suggestions and stuff are always fucking welcome. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Uh, embrace the chaos. This has been a very chaotic episode. And, yeah. I told you to subscribe, didn't I? I told you to share. I told you to embrace the chaos. So the only thing to do is remind you that our goal is to change the world. And I will see you. Yes, you. It doesn't quite work. Yes, you. That doesn't quite work. But you? You. Next time. Tara.